Do you think that he's guilty? No. So you don't think he did it? I don't think he did it. And you said in all the time that you've known him that you never saw any erratic behavior, you have no evidence of any erratic behavior, you have nothing that would indicate that he would be capable of doing something like this, would have any motivation to do something like this. Exactly. You do know that he was convicted of a, a sex crime with a minor, correct? Inappropriate conduct, yeah, I believe so. He was charged with rape of a 13-year-old runaway and pled down to indecent liberty with a minor. How do you categorize that in terms of saying, I, I have no indication or evidence of him ever doing anything erratic, unusual, or? That I did hear of, I know of. Uh -huh. um, but I, I don't see how that makes it, that he killed a seven-year-old girl. Does not. Do you think she had uh, some vindictiveness towards her brother? Do you think there's some motive for her doing this that causes you to question whether there was ever a deathbed confession at all? Uh, I personally don't know Ms. Tessier. This is uh, the first time I've ever even seen her in person. And for me, I, I, I'm confused by why there were three people in the room at the deathbed confession. One has passed away and the other two have very different stories. I'm curious as to why you are the only woman out of all the women he's had contact with that claims he did nothing to you. Are you saying that y you believe that she has been victimized by him as well? Oh, I, I think so. Here's a guy who victimized every woman he's been in a relationship with, but somehow she remains unscathed. Dr. I have Phil. a comment on that. No, let, let her respond, Chuck, and then I'll... Um, where are these women? And I appreciate that you're saying these things, but where are they? One Perhaps is dead, may be the and, reason. Three are, and two of them divorced him. Ex-wives, got it. 